So today I'm going to be blind ranking MLB teams without knowing what team comes next. You've probably seen me do this on TikTok. You seem to enjoy it there. So why not make a YouTube video out of this? It's not just going to be ranking the team how good they are right now. There are other different categories that we're going to be using throughout today's video. Shout out to the YouTube Sports Goat King of the Fourth Quarter for giving me this idea. Saw it over on his Kenny 2 channel. Said, hey, I can do this for baseball. Looks like a great idea. Kenny's a friend of the channel. If you're not subscribed to him, make sure you are. I don't know what you're doing. Again, the goat of sports YouTube. Thank you for giving me the idea for this because this is actually a lot of fun. So if you see over on the screen, it's simple. We have a wheel with MLB teams on it. We're going to spin the wheel and based on whatever the category of ranking is going to be, I have to blindly rank these teams until I get a perfect ranking or what I deem is a perfect ranking. You can let me know in the comment section below if you think it is or isn't. Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. Baseball is back and SeatGeek has partnered up with me again to give you guys a very special offer because you've used my code so much in the past. Giraffe 10 is a special code that you guys can use to get 10% off your order, whether you're a first time buyer or not. Basically, nobody else gets this discount, but because you guys have been so amazing, Seeky came to me and said, hey, we wanna give all your viewers 10% off their next ticket purchase. And there are so many different tickets you can purchase on Seeky. There are over 70,000 live events every single day between baseball games, basketball games, concerts, festivals, live events, SeatGeek's got tickets for. And they're also the number one rated ticketing app with over 28 million downloads. So the proof is in the numbers. What I really like about SeatGeek is that they give you really good deals because they take tickets from all across the web and put them in one place to make it as easy as possible for you to get the best deal you can. And each ticket is rated on a scale of one to 10 to let you know if they're a good or bad deal. So when you see a ticket that's green or rated close to 10, that means it's a good deal, you should buy it. If you see a ticket that's rated as a one or the color red, that means you should probably avoid those. And every ticket is backed by the SeatGeek buyer guarantee. SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. So like I said, don't worry, I got the hookup again. You heard the code earlier. I'll say it one more time. Use code Giraffe10 to get 10% off any order at SeatGeek with a maximum of $25 off. All you have to do is sign in or sign up and use the code Giraffe10. Doesn't matter if you're a first time buyer, second time buyer, a hundredth time buyer. Giraffe10 gets you 10% off all your tickets right now on SeatGeek. Nobody else gets this code. Go use it. Go to sporting events. Shout out SeatGeek. Love you guys. Let's get back to the video. So right now we're going to start off simple and we're going to blindly rank teams right now for the 2024 season. How good I think they are one through five. We're going to spin the wheel and the first team that is going to pop up is going to be the Washington. Oh no, it's going to be the Atlanta Braves. Fun. Great. My favorite team. No, the Atlanta Braves. I mean, they're really good. They're not playing as well as they could be right now. And there definitely are some teams that are better than them, but I'm going to go ahead and take the chance that the Braves are going to be the best team in this video. And I'm just going to put them at number one right now. It seems pretty difficult to beat them at this point, which means we're going to now go on to team number two here spinning. What's going to be the second team that we get? And it's going to be the Seattle Mariners. The Mariners are playing some God awful baseball. The offense has been terrible. Julio Rodriguez seemingly has forgot how to play baseball. I don't know what's going on there. This is now the second season. Maybe did he start slow as rookie year too, but this is now at least the second season in a row where he starts slowly. The offense has been horrendous. The pitching has been fine. I'm still a believer in the Mariners. Of course, if you see my playoff predictions for this year. You know, I was pretty high on them. I'm going to give them a three right now. I'm going to put the Mariners in at the number three spot, and hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me, but this team is still too good to be as bad as they have been. So let's go ahead, find out what the third team is going to be. It's just going to the same spot relatively every time. The Texas Rangers. Ooh, the Rangers are a difficult one because offensively, they haven't been as good as they were last year. Pitching wise, not as strong as they were last year, but this team still is pretty good. So I'm going to put the Rangers in at number two. Corey Seager, Adolis Garcia, uh, Marcus Sim Nate Lowe has been hurt, so he hasn't been playing. Josh Young's been hurt. These things have hurt them. But Wyatt Langford's a stud. They just called up Jack Leiter today. I'm excited to see what his debut looks like on Thursday. Super excited for that. I'm going to put the Rangers at three, and I feel pretty good about the spot there. I'm hoping we don't get screwed over. Yeah, okay, see? We did. We did because the Orioles, for sure, for sure are not the number four team. I think they probably would slot into this number two spot. Again, I know they're a little bit on a little bit of a slower start. They've been playing better of late. But with that lineup, with that team, with that pitching, they are phenomenal. They are clearly not number two on this list. I guess I got a little aggressive with the Mariners. It seems like what messed up the rankings for this one. Now for the fifth and final team, it's going to be the Detroit Tigers. And again, they are, wow, this is like actually a really, this is a list of really good teams, but I don't agree with this one bit. Braves, Rangers, Mariners, Orioles, Tigers. Don't like this. I think I'm going to try run it back and get a better list for ranking teams right now. Let's give this one another shot. All right, spinning the wheel. We're trying this again, ranking the best teams in Major League Baseball as of right now. And I mean, what is going on here? It's giving me the Baltimore Orioles again. I'm going to put the Orioles. Ooh, where am I going to 
gonna put the Orioles. I'm gonna put the Orioles at two. I'm gonna put the Orioles at two. I think that's where they belong. Again, Adley Rushman, Gunnar Henderson, Jordan Westberg, Jackson Holiday. You've got Ryan Malcastle's playing good baseball. Anthony Santander, Cedric Mullins, Austin Hayes. I said Adley Rushman, Corbin Burns, Grayson Rodriguez. Like this team is absolutely loaded. But again, there are teams right now that I think are better than the Orioles, so I can't put them at number one just yet. Because like, if we get the Dodgers, this is where this would screw us over. Is it giving me the same teams? I don't. I'm not. I'm not doing the Rangers. I will not do five of the same teams again. Please give me a new one. Thank you. It's the San Diego Padres who are a little bit better than a lot of you expected. I know I caught a lot of crap in my ranking video, or not my ranking video, my season prediction video saying that I think the Padres are going to be a playoff team. And while they're not playing perfect baseball right now, they are playing better than a lot of people expected. So I'm going to put the Padres in at number three. I don't think they're better than the Orioles right now. I still think that team is better, but this is a playoff caliber team. And I don't even necessarily think they're playing their best baseball that we can see this year. Tatis is awesome. Imagine if they had, I don't know, Juan Soto on this team, how good he'd be. I'm not ranking the Tigers again. Give me a new team. I don't want to keep ranking the same one. What is up with this wheel? I don't want the Atlanta Braves or the Seattle Mariners. Stop giving me the same teams. The statistical probability of this is unlikely. Thank you. Okay, Diamondbacks. This is a new one. The D-backs are playing weird baseball. They're not particularly at their best right now. I got to throw them at four, which hurts me because Snake's alive. Love the Diamondbacks. Fun team. Had a great time in Arizona at the playoffs, but they're not playing really good baseball right now. I think this team is better than their record indicates, but at the exact moment, like Corbin Carroll's a little bit cold. Guitar Marte is great. Christian Walker's great. They have the good players there, but the pitching, especially on the relief side, has just not been as strong as you'd hope. Kevin Ginkle struggled a little bit in that closer role. So we have two, three, and four. Now we have one and five left open. Who's going to fit in there? Yankees would be a number one, and that'd be a really good one. You gave me the Rays. Oh, you gave me the Rays. I mean, they're going to have to go at five. They're going to have to go at five. Again, this is not this is not your normal Rays. This is not the same strong Rays that we've seen every single year, seemingly since the COVID season, where they're just like good World Series contenders every year. The Rays are struggling a little bit more than they're used to. There's a good reason why they're missing a pretty good couple pretty good players here and then la oh you're not gonna give me the white socks oh 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 this is like clearly i'm not i'm not even gonna type them in at number one because that's just so ridiculous clearly the worst team in baseball i also spelled the rays wrong which props to me for not knowing how to spell things yeah the white Sox will not go into the number one spot that is brutal to get the worst team in baseball when you left the number one spot open okay probably didn't do this one right we're gonna come back to it a little bit later in the video let's go ahead and come up with a new category to blindly rank okay for this next one we're gonna blindly rank these teams based on their best player. So whoever their best player is, we're going to blindly rank them one through five in this one. So first up, don't give me the White Sox again. Okay, Cleveland Guardians, Jose Ramirez. I love J-Ram, but there are a lot of really good players in Major League Baseball. So I am actually, I'm going to put Jose Ramirez at number three. He is off to a little bit of a slow start this year. Let me make this a uh, little bit smaller because we're going to be fitting bigger names in here. He is off to a little bit of a slower start. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. I'm not trying to say that like J-Ram stinks by any means. Love J-Ram, but we're going to have to put him at three because again, there are so many good players in the league and I'm just, I'm a little afraid of who we're going to get. So next up, We've got the Los Angeles Angels. Mike Trout, totally back this year. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but Mike Trout is really good. As long as he is healthy, this guy continues to be one of the best players in Major League Baseball. And in my head, I'm trying to play out who could actually be better than Mike Trout in this video. If we get the Dodgers, they have a couple guys. If they get the Braves, is Ronald Acuna right now better than Mike Trout? Probably still. Probably, because last year was crazy. But it's really the Dodgers we have to look out for. Maybe the Yankees with Juan Soto or Aaron Judge. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty tough. You know what? We're going to put Mike Trout at one. We're going to put Mike Trout and the Angels at one, and we're going to move on to the next team because I think I think the numbers are in my favor there. We just can't. You're not going to beat Mike Trout. Cardinals. Cardinals best player. You got Arenado. I guess I guess he's their best player, right? If you go around this team, it's got to be Nolan Arenado and I'm going to put Arenado at five, which feels feels dirty. I love Nolan Arenado, but right now I don't think, I mean, he's not better than J-Ram. There's no way. He's not better than Mike Trout. He's not going to go above those guys and I think there's still going to be someone better than Nolan, worse than J-Ram that pops up for us. This one could be our run right here. We got the San Diego Padres and let me tell you, number four, that's where Fernando Tati Tatis Jr. is going. Fernando Tatis Jr. I think with Manny Machado hurt, not being able to play the field, he's just the best player on this team right now. Fernando Tatis, I'm just I'm just trying to think and make sure I'm not missing anybody. No, it's definitely Fernando Tatis. He's definitely going to go in at number four. And then number two, give me a good team. Please give me a good team. You gave me the Washington Nationals. Am I going to be able to get a perfect blind ranking in this video? This is impossible. The Nationals, CJ Abrams is a beast. I love him, but he's not better than J. Ram, Fernando Tatis, Nolan Arenado. Oh, let's run it back again. One more more time. All right, run it back, run it back. We're blindly ranking teams based on their best player, and we've got the Chicago Cubs.
Cubs. The Cubs' best player is Cody Bellinger, Dansby Swanson, Seiya Suzuki. I'll probably go with, it's probably Cody Bellinger, right? Cody Bellinger's probably the Cubs' best player, and I am gonna kind of put him, or maybe, yeah, it's gotta be Cody Bellinger. I'm gonna put Cody Bellinger towards the bottom. I'm gonna put him at number five. I just think that we're gonna get better players from better teams, even though he's a great player. St. Louis Cardinals, again, I don't wanna rank Nolan Arenado. Please get me a new one. Why does it keep going back to the same teams every single time? White Sox, I mean, Luis Robert, at least there is a good player on this team, and Luis Robert is a great one. I'm gonna put him at four. We're weirdly working our way from the bottom. Start from the bottom, now we're here, I think is the lyric by uh, Drake, who just came out with a great diss track. Next up is gonna be the Colorado Rockies. Oh my God, what are we doing? Nolan Jones is not better than these guys. I, I hate this so much. I hate this so much. I could have put Luis Robert at three. I could have given myself some room. Is Nolan Jones even the best player on this team? Is it? <sighs> Whatever. I don't even, I don't care anymore. This is so frustrating with the teams and the players we're getting. Phillies. It's gonna be the Phillies, right? Okay, we're gonna go Trey Turner. Or no, Bryce Harper. Whoops. Bryce Harper at number two, even though he's having a bit of a cold start to the year. Bryce Harper at two. And then number one is going to be, yeah, the Pittsburgh Pirates. This list is cursed. This list is cursed. Okay. Let's try it again. Let's reset. Get the mind back. Line ranking every team in Major League Baseball right now. We need to do this, and I need to get it right before I can move on. Okay, we got the Miami Marlins. This team I told you was going to be dog water. And guess what you all did? You laughed at me. You said, oh, the Marlins, you're a salty Mets fan. They're not going to be that bad. Did you look at this roster? Did you forget they lost Sandy Alcantara? If they had him, different story. He would help a lot. But this team is terrible. This team is awful. Luis Arias needed to hit 400 last year, have an outstanding season along with an outstanding season from their pitchers to even barely make the playoffs. This team stinks. Arguably one of the worst teams in the league. We're putting the Marlins at number five. They're absolute dog water. I love Jazz Chisholm, but he can't be your best player. It just can't. He can't. So they're number five. The oh, it went to the Red Sox. Okay, Red Sox are playing good baseball. Red Sox are better than we expected. And if I've learned anything from these rankings, we gotta leave some room here. So I'm gonna put the Red Sox in at number three. Surprising everybody. Surprising myself included. Tyler O'Neill's been playing great. Their pitching's been a lot better. Their bullpen still shaky. They're still not great, but they have been better than expected. The Cleveland Guardians. Man, I would have really loved to put the Red Sox at four or Ah, man, I know the Guardians are playing good baseball. Is this where I'm going to piss people off and put them at four? Because I just don't believe they're actually that good. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I don't believe in this Guardians team. I think they're playing good ball right now. Their offense is maybe better than we expected, but I can't see this team. I mean, like, are they better than the Red Sox right now? Seriously, are they? I don't I don't know about that. I'll tell you one team that's... Uh, man, this is tough. I don't I don't really love the Blue Jays here at two because this team has looked not the greatest. The pitching has been, outside of Jose Barrios, a little shaky. Like, Kevin Gaussman, concerning, concerning. He's throwing, like, 90 miles an hour, and the offense has been whatever. This Blue Jays team's in a little bit of a rut right now. Let's see who comes out at number one. I will say, I will say, this one... This one feels the best. This one feels like there's a world where you could argue that this ranking is correct blindly. I wanna know what you guys can think or what you're thinking down in the comment section below. But I'm gonna say that the blind ranking of the teams right now is done. We're gonna go back to the category of blind ranking the teams based on their best players because I need to get that one right. I need to. This one though, Yankees, Blue Jays, Red Sox, Guardians, Marlins. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it as a W. I think this one's pretty good. All right, blind ranking teams based on their best player. And we're getting, so I don't wanna do the White Sox again. Please stop giving me the same teams every time. This wheel has, we're going to get the Cubs and the, or the Marlins. It's the same teams over and over again. Give, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. This is my video. I make the rules. I'm not, dude, the Orioles, whatever. We haven't had them for the player one yet. I'm going to take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Their best player, Adley Rush, Bunner Henderson, Corbin Burns. I'm going to go with Adley as their best player. Oh, man, am I going to go with Adley as their best player? Yeah, I'm going to go with Adley as their best player. And you know what? I'm going to put Adley at four and this is not a shot to Adley Rushman, but I think there's a world where we're going to get some guys that are actually really good on team teams that we haven't yet rolled. So give me the Orioles and Adley Rushman at number four. Next up, we have the Pittsburgh Pirates. Their best player is going to be Brian Reynolds. And I'll tell you right now, Brian Reynolds is coming in at five. He is not better than Adley Rushman. It's just, it's just not happening. He's good. Good ball player. Keep Brian Hayes, good ball player. But those guys, either one of them, not better. Pirates, Brian Reynolds at five. Dude, what, what is happening? Didn't we get the Dimebacks last time too? Dimebacks, Corbin Carroll. Is Corbin Carroll better than Adley Rushman? <sighs> you, you could rationalize it. You could. He's having a slow start to the year. He doesn't look particularly awesome right now, but what he did last year was pretty close to what Adley Rushman does as well from the outfield position versus catcher. I, I can rationalize this when I don't hate it. Okay, Dodgers, this one makes it easy. This one makes it easy. We're going to go Mookie Betts just because Otani is not pitching right now and Mookie Betts is playing like just completely out of his mind. So we're going to go Mookie Betts at one. Can we get somebody good at two? And we don't. We get Cody. Mm, we get Co uh, Cody Bellinger again. I'm tired of getting the Cubs. Give me a new team. Let's just, let's do one more spin just for the heck of it. Because again, it's my video. I make 
the rules, there's no way. You gave me the Cubs again! Statistically speaking, the probability of landing on the same team when there are 30 random teams. What are the odds of that? Somebody in the comment section, give me the math down there. I'm not doing them. I will, oh, I, this, see, I'll tell you this. This right here with Bobby Witt Jr. and the Kansas City Royals, this is a perfect list. Bobby Witt Jr. is a top 10 player in baseball right now. Defensively disgusting. Oh, nasty on the base pass. And he's mashing Bobby Wood Jr. coming in at two. I love it. I love it. To me, this, just like the last one, this could be the perfect list in terms of top five blind ranking teams based on their best player. I know I didn't type in the teams. I probably should have, but this to me, we're going to count this as a W. Again, you let me know in the comment section down below. We're going to do one more blind ranking. It's going to be for real. It's going to be based on the probabilities to win the World Series. Who do I think has the best chance to win the World Series? One through five. Let's run it. Okay, who is going to be the first team that we get for blindly ranking probability to win the World Series? It's going to be the Milwaukee Brewers. So I have finishing in last place in the NL Central. I know Brewers fans aren't happy about that, and especially because Reese Hoskins is a dirty player. I can guarantee the comment section is going to say Reese Hoskins lives rent free in your head. And you know what he does? I hate him. I don't like him. Too bad. My job is to talk about baseball, and I think about him all the time. Okay, let's go with the Milwaukee Brewers. They're actually playing some good baseball, but the chances of them to win the World Series feel super low. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to put them at. Th yeah, we're going to put them at three. We're going to put the Brewers at three. I don't know why I went with their government name. We're just going to call them the Brewers so that we can fit it better on the screen. Put them at three. I feel dirty about that. I really wanted to put them at four. I hope it doesn't cost me here. Next up, we've got the Atlanta Braves. Braves have a pretty good chance at winning the World Series. I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to put them at one. I'm going to put the Braves at one. Again, I can't believe I got the Braves again on this, but that team is disgusting. Their pitching is getting a little bit worrisome, but they're okay. The Oakland A's, I'm going to go five. I'm going to take the risk that we don't get the White Sox. The A's actually have been playing better baseball, but that team is, that team is bad. I mean, you guys, looked at that roster. It's not good. There's what, like three good players. How are we landing on the Brewers again? What is this wheel? I swear when I watched Kenny's video, this didn't happen as much. It's happened. We got the A's again. Dude, what, what is going on with this wheel? Please give me new teams. Haven't seen the Mets. Is there something with the settings that I'm doing that's incorrect? Okay. <sighs> Refresh, start over, spin the wheel again. If it gives me the A's for a third time, the video's ending. Dude, that was so close. What is going on with this wheel? Okay, the Astros. Where do the Astros go in terms of probability to win the World Series? I know they're playing some bad baseball right now. I think they're actually starting to get hot a little bit. They just beat the Rangers. But I put them at two. This team still is scary good. Their pitching, though, is worrisome. They're getting Justin Verlander back this week, which is going to help. The lineup's going to be fine. I'm not worried about that. But they are definitely a little bit of a, of a scare here. And then we got the Phillies. Ooh, I don't like them at four. I should have put the Brewers at four, huh? I should, I should just go with my guts. Because this right here, if you switch the Phillies, the Brewers would have been my best ranking of them all. But because I didn't, we got a stupid one where the Phillies are just a little bit ahead of the Oakland A's. I don't like that. And that was an absolute failure. A little bit of a different video here. Some blind ranking stuff, talking about teams, talking about players. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you do, please do drop a like on the video. It'll help me know that I should do more of this on the channel because I will. These are fun for me to kind of just have like 15, 20 minutes blindly, randomly talking with you guys about baseball. I don't get to do this too often in this kind of setting. It's usually a little bit more professional, a little more buttoned up, a little more, I don't want to say scripted, but thought out and not just conscious thoughts running through my head. Remember to get in the comment section, roast my list, tell me how bad I am, how little I know ball. I'm cool with it. I can handle it. Subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss out on any of the content coming at you. Follow me on all my social media at GiraffeNickMark. Links are in the description. And of course, a big shout out to SeatGeek again for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use code Giraffe10 for 10% off all your purchases at SeatGeek. Thank you guys for watching. You know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. This is my most recent upload, so click through those. If you have not yet seen them, I promise they're good videos. I made them. You're going to want to watch them. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.